explain to me again why we are running home. We've been over this several times, Charlotte. And you have yet to provide me with an answer. Because I do not need to. We are returning because we must. <laughs> Henry? Miss Wentworth? It's... it's Captain Henry Butler now. I had stumbled across Miss Charlotte after addressing my crew. I was just mentioning previously how much I've appreciated the crew's kindness. All indebted to their dear captain, of course. Had I been aware of your presence on board, I would have ensured better staying quarters for you both. Alas, there was no mention of Wentworth on the passenger list. Please understand, Mr. Captain. Butler, it is absolutely imperative that we remain off any passenger list, or we are ruined. Apologies, ladies. Welcome to England. Thomas? Welcome back. My dear sisters, Charlotte, Josephine. Radcliffe, take the luggage out of the carriage and place Miss Wentworth and Miss Charlotte's belongings into the arranged guest rooms. Yes, Mr. Wentworth. And tell Margaret to place the tea in the library. Of course. No, dear, I want to show my sisters the grounds. Eleanor, they must be very tired. Could you not let them rest? Very well. Radcliffe. Tell Margaret to place the tea in the grounds. Very well, sir. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have errands. She is the last one. Yes. But she has a very good reputation. She is known to be a crack shot. Makes me think if it was worth the trouble. Do not say that. Not now. This matter ends when they are all dead, as we agreed from the start. 
We need you to honor your agreement, Eleanor. We need a way out. When the noise dies down, when do you think we can return? Never. Are you happy, Captain Butler? Very happy, thank you. Do you have any ambitions? Yes. I am a captain in the Royal Navy. No. Something of note. Why am I here, Mr. Winthorpe? When does your ship sail? I need you to remove some cargo. I'm not in that business. Yes, you are. That is your family. Do you have any idea what they've done? You brought them here. You take them away. They cannot stay here. Where can they go? I do not care. They must leave our home. Eleanor, they threaten my business. People will talk of your scandalous sisters and it will threaten my reputation as a decent businessman. Scandalous sisters? What about your sister? What about your brother? You took my family's money and it was squandered by those two. I expect you to stand by me, Thomas. a mere sister with, Miss Wentworth. good of you to keep the house the same as father had kept it, Thomas. Hmm. Remember when we were small children? Harvey used to play such fun games with us here. I still remember us laughing and hiding whilst father had to find us. There is a ship leaving tomorrow. And I have assurances that you both will be safe on this voyage. What ship? It departs for the West Indies. Josephine and Charlotte can live at your father's plantation. Why are we discussing departure? We have yet to finish our business here yet. That is not my concern. Tomorrow is when the ship leaves for its voyage. And I want you both on it. will be settled before then.
Good morning, Josephine. Good morning, Captain Butler. Must be nice to be back home. Sadly, it stopped being home for me a long time ago. Since your father? Yes. How long do you intend to stay for? Not long. And then what? Sail abroad, I imagine. Josephine. It does not need to be difficult for you. There are ways you could lead not a lavish but comfortable life at sea. Henry? That perhaps our encounter, after how many years, is not simply coincidence. Perhaps it means we have another chance to be together. Thomas wants us to leave tomorrow. That is why he asked me here. Think about what I said. Do you remember this dress? Can't believe you kept it all these years. It was the one she wore to the Farrington Ball. She looked beautiful that night. I was so jealous. She was radiant. I'm so glad you kept it. Do you wear it? It is why we are here. There's a woman here to see you, Mrs. Winthorpe. Who? Lady Marion Shrewsbury. I've shown her to the drawing room. Wait a few minutes and then come into the drawing room. Is bold to see a Shrewsbury sitting in this house. What do you want? I did believe that the past should remain as the past. There has been a great deal of hurt on both sides of our families. We did not start these troubles. And that is why I chose not to have any quarrels with you Wentworths. I let you be. But when you decide to murder a young, innocent girl, I want justice. Yes, too many young people have died and they all deserve justice. It does not matter. If you could have all let it be, we would not be here now. But she was my sister and she will be avenged. That is enough talk. Your sister died no better than how she lived. Your family? are dishonourable traitors. And I will stand over your lifeless body as I did over the other. Enough! Where do we meet? Where it began. Lady Shrewsbury, I apologise. I was caught up.
What's the matter? <laughs>